You already know what time it is. Look, I'm just happy to be here. Thanks for watching. It is March 27th, 2021, and I broke my old soundboard. What's in the shop today? Fortnite? It's so weird without the deep voice. Wow, great feather bundle. They literally took Iron Cage and they turned it into a complete set. That harvesting tool looks wow, interesting. Other than that, Moxie is good. Okay, pretty small shop, but we have a pretty big bundle here. This is for uh, 2,300 V-Bucks total, the Grave Feather skin. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm kind of okay with like the mechanical legs. Farmer Steel has it. This is kind of cool so far. I like the like the purple animation. The back thing is the bladed cage. That is a very aggressive looking cage. Hey, they said, hey, what should we turn into an outfit? They're like iron cage. And they said, okay, let's do that. Um, the razor wing here. It's actually pretty cool. I'm excited to see the swing animation here. And then, wow. The weeping, the weeping crow. That allows hell. One more time. Wow. All right, guys. If you'd like to use me as your supporter creator, that's P-A-Z-0. Piece it with a zero. You know we're getting it. Yes. <laughs> Again, broke my soundboard. Have a new one next week. Just bear with me, please. Okay, guys. The rap is, hi, Kevin. Don't have that sound effect either, but looks great. I will say that his chin kind of goes into your weapon here. Um, if that's a deal breaker for you, keep that in mind. A little bit of glitching here with different weapons, like just his chin area. But in terms of the outfit, like I'm cool with the legs. Like I said, Farmer Steel is easily like top 25, top 30 skins for me, Farmer Steel. And I think his legs are really unique. In terms of this outfit here, they literally just juiced up the Iron Cage into a full set. Which is kind of interesting because Iron Cage, like, you know, like back in season three, is, is, pretty, is pretty aggressive looking. Iron K is pretty aggressive, regardless. Um, my man's has three fingers. Three fingers, okay? Um, you can see it really well when I'm gliding here. Three fingers, regardless, the Weeping Crow. You know what? That deploy is a lot. It's the back bling. It was the back bling, right? It sounds great. Was it the back bling? The back bling turned into the glider? Like the ooms pouch, I think it's what it's called. The back bling turns into the glider. That's actually sick. And it sounds really good too. I'll take it. That's a really cool glider and back bling little combo that they did there. Um, but yeah, so the harvesting tool actually retracts like into his arm after he doesn't swing it for like, if you maybe like five, five, six, seven seconds, it'll go back in, which is cool. It's a nice little feature there. Regardless, you equip and equip. Look at how he like <laughs> equips it. I think it's pretty cool. Swing animation is pretty cool. It, it feels slow, but I'm sure it's like the same like farming rate, regardless in components. I mean, it sounds sharp. I don't really know what else to say about the harvesting tool. But from a different like POV, you can see like all the nice mist and detail on the skin. He, he looks like he was like put together. Like look at his little shoulder armor there. Like it looks cool. It's an actually fairly decent skin. Like I'm impressed. Outfit bathing harvesting tool and glider for a pretty decent price here. I'll say yeah, but first uh, let's go ahead and take off the back bling and see what the actual glider looks like without the back bling actually uh, attached to the skin here. Okay, so no back bling. Like it's a pretty slim character, like love it or hate it. It's still not a bulky skin. Maybe it feels slow because of the like mechanical legs, but the glider with no back bling now. Okay, so it still kind of equips, like I feel like it does fairly kind of equip from your back there with the back bling on. Let me put on the back bling real quick and see what it looks like from that POV. The Weeping Crow. Okay, so once you use the glider, there's no back bling visually on your back. I'm not sure if it's gonna be like that with every single back bling you use. It might. Let me check that real quick one more time. This is the baddie pack, which looks really good on him, by the way. But with the glider now, what does it do to the back bling? 
Okay, so it takes away every backbling regardless. It still kind of gives me, like... I guess the imagination that with the actual back bling, it's supposed to, I guess, resemble unequipping from your back bling anyways. But regardless, combo time. Okay, starting with the back bling, um, I would say it's a pretty easy pair of cosmetics in terms of outfit and back bling to find combos with. You'll see here we have Moisty Merman. Ravage, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Raven, you knew it was coming. Um, Spire Assassin for the Battle Pass. It actually looks fairly decent. This is what it came with. We have the Baltimore Ravens. Yes, I will. Yes, I did. You might be able to get away with the Minnesota Vikings, maybe depending on their color scheme. That looks good too. Uh, regardless, we have Dusk. The Dread Omen looks pretty nice. Dread Fate looks nice as well. The Corrupted Voyager, give it a try. Malcor, it kind of matches his aggressive looking spiky theme, I would say. Night Witch, the fabric on the back plane kind of goes with the fabric of like what she's wearing as well. Um, Stratus looks pretty decent. Synth Star's got all the colors we're looking for. Violet looks okay. The Dark Mama! Dark Triceratops looks pretty nice. We can show you the other style as well. Not bad. The Gauge Skin. Street Striker looks okay. You got poop in your pants though. The Jelly Skin. The Phoenix skin, Phoenix Phoenix. Uh, Cupcake Lady. She's got cupcake for her hair, I'm just saying. And then the Arctica skin. Ar Arctica, Arctica skin. It's kind of a stretch, but she's got them purple goggles, I'm just saying. In terms of what to wear on the outfit, um, I wouldn't say it was super challenging at all. Fallen Wings looks great. Fly Trapper looks decent with the feathers around his head. He's got to stretch a little bit of that red inside the plant. The Iron Cage, of course. The Second Side Back Bling. The Shackled Stone looks pretty nice as well. Um, also, the other edit style, I believe it'll still look decent once it's animated, so give that a try. Pretty aggressive. Um, the Soul's Reach from the Battle Pass looks okay. Bird Hovel, I kind of like it. The Batty Pack, I used it in that gameplay earlier. The Wolverine's Trophy is okay. I wouldn't say it's super close to being there, but maybe with that like purple, pinkish mist, you could stretch. Um, Sword of the Daywalker looks pretty good. The Wild Cube, hi, Kevin. The Dark Shield, hi, Kevin Shield. This is what it came with. The Coven Cape has a purple inlay, so that's cool. Um, I forgot the name of this back bling. The Dread Shield looks okay. The Purple Ghost Portal, as well as the blue, look pretty decent. Not bad. Hollow Skull, love it. Illusion Rune, love it. Batman Comic Book Cape looks pretty aggressive, I would say so. The Trash Lid, Fortnite, when you bring it on, Kid Bash. I'm just saying. Um, this looks amazing. Looks really cool. The Steel Cast. The Shining Star Back Bling. No. I don't have my soundboard, guys. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Um, the Auric Back Bling. The Ghost Trap. Sad times. Sad times. No sound effects. I, I never realized how much I rely on my sound effects and my voice changers on my Go XLR. But like I said, we'll have a new one in roughly less than a week. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That is supported creator P-I-Z-0 in the item shop. Thank you guys so much for watching, like for real. Thank you. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.